now join together in our call to worship. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory. Our hymn of praise today is O Come All Ye Faithful, hymn number 234.
We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. As we <clears throat> turn our hearts to prayer this morning, we want to uh, share those prayer requests that have been made known to us. We want to pray for all those that have been impacted by the recent devastating storms that have swept across our nation. Let's also pray for all of those that struggle with feelings of sadness and loneliness during this holiday time, especially all those that have recently experienced the loss of a family member since last Christmas. Many in our church and community are approaching this holiday season uh, without a beloved family member present. We also want to ask for safe traveling mercies for all of you and others who will be traveling during the holidays that, that God will bless you with safe travels. Are there other joys or prayer requests that you would like to make known at this time? For our prayer chorus today, as we prepare our hearts to pray, we will use the chorus found on page 171 of your hymnal, there's something about that name. Messiah, you would always be with us. 
We give you thanks that you are a promise-keeping God, and that in the fullness of time you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. We wait with anticipation to celebrate the birth of Jesus, God in our midst. And as we do, we remember all of your goodness to us. And in thanksgiving, we offer unto you our praise and rejoicing. Holy is your name. Lord, as we hear again the story of your miraculous birth, may your Holy Spirit speak to our hearts, reminding us that you came for us and for the whole world to show us God's love and to bring us love, grace, forgiveness, peace, and hope. Lord, help us never to grow tired of hearing this miraculous story, familiar though it may be, Help us never to take it for granted. Remind us that it was for us and for our salvation that you set your plan of redemption in motion. And that plan includes each one of us. Hear our prayers now for ourselves and for others as we offer them before you in silence. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, help us to believe that nothing is beyond your ability, that nothing is impossible with you. Give us a new sense of awe at the miracles that you perform each and every day. Enable us to hear and to believe the words of the prophets and of the angels, and to share that same good news to all the world. As the time grows near for the coming of Christmas, help us not to forget those whose bodies, minds, or spirits are troubled this day. As you are God with us, so be God with them also. All those that we have named before you, all those that are included on our prayer list, and those that we name in our hearts. Lord, we ask all of these things in the holy name of Jesus your Son and our Savior, the one who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Quietly, planned to dismiss her quietly, 
But just when he had resolved to do so, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid for, to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophets. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his, his, as his wife, but had no marital relationships with her until she had born a son, and he named him Jesus. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks Today we light the fourth Advent candle as we quickly approach the celebration of Jesus' birth. The Apostle Paul reminds us that the good news that came to us in Jesus Christ is meant for all people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, we have all received God's grace. As we hear once again the miraculous story of Jesus' birth, may the words be fresh and new to our hearts and minds as we invite God's Holy Spirit to dwell among us. And now I invite our ushers to come to receive God's tithes and our offerings. And as we quickly approach the end of 2022, we want to give thanks to the faithfulness of our congregation for your continued giving to the ministries of this church and to the faithfulness of our Lord who continues to provide for our needs not only for the needs of our ministry here within our local congregation, but also provides the means and the ways for us to be generous with others. We have so many various ministries where we share food and other things with persons in need throughout the year. So we give thanks to the Lord for God's continued faithfulness to us and for your continued generosity. Thanks be to God.
this special presentation today are delighted to have the opportunity to honor our Lord and Savior through the giving of this Christmas gift to you all and in honor and glory to God. The good news proclaimed through word and through song. So let us pray. O oh, gracious Lord, this season gives us the opportunity to proclaim the good news of Christ's birth in so many different ways. So it is our prayer that as we hear the familiar words today and relive the old, old story once again, that you would open our hearts and minds by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we might receive with joy your word for us today. May all that is said and done bring honor and glory unto you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> As the choir uh, goes through the uh, presentation, if you would follow along in your bulletin, there is opportunity for the congregation to join in singing some of the Christmas carols. Uh, we'll not announce those. I will turn around and guide you in those, but I uh, just wanted you to be aware of those that the uh, hymn numbers are printed for you in the bulletin. So now it is our joy to present to the glory of God, Behold the Star, A Christmas Journey to the Light of Christ.
children of Israel, the chosen people of God, living for generations in a world of darkness, with little hope for a bright tomorrow. It was to the people of Israel, in God's perfect timing, that the promise of the Messiah came to be fulfilled. These were the people walking in darkness, upon whom the light of God eventually did shine. It was the sixth month when God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a maid pledged to, the, to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and you will give birth to a son. You are to name him Jesus. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger 
because there had been no room for them at the inn. Behold the stillness of an ordinary night, where Judean shepherds are keeping watch over their flocks of sheep. In an instant, the ordinary night becomes like none other they have ever experienced. The quiet, starlit night was suddenly filled with heaven's light as an angel appeared to them bringing words of comfort and joy. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly the sky was filled with a heavenly host of angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to all. I invite the congregation to now join with the choir in singing angels we have heard on, on high. It's number 238 in your hymnal, and we will sing verses 1 and 3.
settings for the Son of God to enter the world. A barren cattle stall, two young parents basking in the miraculous birth, and a newborn Christ child lying in a major bed. The shepherds, upon seeing the amazing sight, gave witness to what they had experienced on this holiest of nights. They returned to their flocks of sheep, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Mary, the young maiden, hand chosen by God to birth his son, treasured all these things as she pondered them in her heart. Search for the child. 
When you find him, bring me word that I too may go and worship him. Behold the star that goes before the Magi, leading them to the very location of the Holy Child. There they find Jesus with his mother Mary. They kneel in worship and joyous gratitude, offering gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
Let us pray. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us today. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angel, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Most holy Lord, the invitation that was extended to the shepherds and the kings on that holy night to come to Bethlehem and see, that is still God's open invitation to everyone. In the birth of Christ, you bridged the gap between heaven and earth and became one of us to bring your grace, love, and forgiveness to everyone. May the true message of Christmas surround us just now. And in the quietness of these moments, Lord, if there be someone here whose heart is troubled today, someone who doubts your love and forgiveness for them, someone who is weighed down with the cares of this life or burdened with concerns for someone else, surround them with your Holy Spirit just now. Draw them close to you and bless them with the assurance of your love and your peace. Remind us that because you came to live among us, you remain forever and always God with us. In the name of the Holy Name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I invite us now to stand together and sing our hymn of discipleship. It is number 224 in your hymnal. Good Christian friends rejoice and let's see. How many verses have we got here? Let's sing the first and third verses. Let us sing.